never touched by a human hand. Nice and clean. The US presidential election has taken some rather unconventional turns to the surprise of absolutely no one. Kamala Harris received a birthday serenade at a church in Georgia while Donald Trump visited a McDonald's in Pennsylvania. For more, we're joined by our North America correspondent, Carrington Clark. Carrington, good morning. Why was Donald Trump at a McDonald's? Yeah, we're definitely in the home straight of this US presidential election. And today, voters were gifted the image of Donald Trump donning the McDonald's apron and being on French fry duty in Pennsylvania. Now, the reason he is doing this is because he wants to highlight what he is calling a lie from Kamala Harris when she says that she worked at McDonald's when she was attending university. Now, this is one of these unusual aspects of this election campaign. Uh, Kamala Harris has used her work experience at McDonald's as an example of why she knows what it's like to be a working person. Experience, she says, Donald Trump simply does not have. Donald Trump has accused her of lying about that experience. He's offered no evidence to suggest that she didn't work at McDonald's when she said she did, but this has become a very popular topic of conversation in some of the far reaches of the internet. Uh, so Donald Trump wanted to make sure that this was front and centre again today. Uh, the vice president, as you say, is down in Georgia, one of the other key swing states. Um, she went to a black church. She received this happy birthday serenade uh, and really tried to target in particularly on black men. Polls suggest that Kamala Harris is underperforming with black men compared to black women, and they know that they need to get more black men on board if they are going to win in some of those key states like Georgia. And the polls are indicating at this point at, that it is too close to call. And although we talk about election day being two weeks away, in many states, early voting has begun. People are already out in force uh, and the votes are being counted, even if we have no idea which way this is going to go. Meanwhile, the billionaire Elon Musk Carrington is offering a daily million dollar prize to voters as he also hits the trail on behalf of Donald Trump. Is what he is doing legal? I mean, this is a major question. So the tech mogul Elon Musk has become one of the most high profile surrogates for Donald Trump. He's fully subscribed to the MAGA movement uh, and he's putting tens of millions of dollars of his own money behind this campaign. Now, this particular pledge is that he is uh, saying that each day they will randomly select someone who has signed a petition that he has circulated, which effectively says that you're in support of the First and Second Amendments here in the United States, which is freedom of speech and uh, the right to bear arms. Now, that is seen as a way of marshalling support for Donald Trump in some of these key state, uh, key swing states. So he's not technically paying people to vote for Donald Trump. He's paying them to sign a petition, which is then seen as a way of getting them to register to vote, which in turn should lead to greater support for Donald Trump. Now, this has already been questioned. Uh, the Democratic uh, governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, uh, says that it's deeply concerning and has suggested that law enforcement may, look at, may have a look at it.